Hi. Today we'll discuss the six tax brackets and the increasing percentage you pay and the increasing dollar amount you pay as you move from one bracket to the next. The most references will be to taxable income and use of the standard deduction, which most singles use because they don't get to take advantage of itemized deductions. And for the moment, we'll move from taxable income to total income and use an example of earnings of $14,350. So, a single with that income, $14,350, subtracting out his standard deduction and his personal exemption would subtract $9,350, leaving taxable income of $5,000. And in the lowest bracket, he would pay 10% of that or a final tax of $500. Now, as you get to the top of the 10% bracket, you'll pay $838. Once you earn a little more money, then you move in to the 15% bracket and now you get punished for a little more success and you have to start paying $15 on every hundred you earn. When you make some more yet and move into the, this bracket, you have to start paying $25 on every hundred you earn and it continues up until this bracket is paying $110,000 just by getting there. From there on in, it's way more all the time. So. Virtually all Americans agree that you should pay more as you earn more. That's fair enough. That's called a progressive system of taxation. What the big spenders don't tell you is besides having a progressive system, we have a graduated system where you pay a higher percentage and again, you get punished more for your success. This graduated system gives Congress hundreds of billions, it's been doing this for decades, that it does not need. It just squanders your money on whatever it thinks will get them reelected. Not only that, it turns you against these people up here who pay a much higher portion of the total burden than anyone else. This is a disease, it's a, known as class warfare. All right, that's going to be our topic in the next segment. In the meantime, my site is conservativepoliticsinfofind.com. I welcome your comments and questions. Thank you.